Uh, good morning everyone. So I hope I'm finding you well. Today I'm going to explain you how to different, differentiate the different types of twilights. So basically, as you probably know, the, when the sun rises, the point where the first rays of the sun appear before the horizon and until the time when the, uh, the rays of the sun are uh, like totally light the surface of the earth is called the twilight or the dawn. But did you know that there are different types of it and that they are called different? Actually, I'm going to turn on the light because it's very dark here. Uh, much better. So, uh, we have the uh, four different types of twilight being astronomical, the first one, then nautical, the second one, civil, the third one, and finally the sunrise itself. So, now I'm going to explain you how to actually differentiate them and what do each of them mean. So, uh, the first one, astronomical twilight, is the time uh, which is actually at night, very late at night, when you cannot see any rays of the sun and you cannot see the beginning of the, of the dawn itself, but uh, the astronomical twilight is pretty important for the astronomers, obviously, because since they have to do some um, star observations in, in their observatories or whatever they need to find the sky totally absolutely dark and in the before the astronomical twilight the actual night happens but when the sun rises at 18 degrees above the horizon we cannot see it with our naked eye but the astronomers th uh, themselves uh, when they do their observations and uh, they actually can experience some some noise uh, when the image of the sun or when I don't know different galaxies and nebulae and so on so uh, today the astronomical twilight being the point where the sun rose 18 degrees below the horizon uh, was at 3 13 in the morning so uh, the 18 degrees below the horizon means the uh, geometrical center of the sun so, for example, uh, this being a sun, it's a, uh, well, a disk, and the geometrical center is basically the, well, I mean, here you can draw the radius, and it's going to be the, the center. It's pretty easy. So, the point where the geometrical center of the sun rose at, uh, well, given number of the uh, degrees above the horizon let's say uh, this is earth so the earth is also a disk this is of course not to scale and the geometrical center of the sun the sun is somewhere there far away but here is the surface of the earth and we are standing say here so we need to um, we need to uh, see where the uh, different kinds of twilight starts. So when the sun is over there, below, far below, and the first rays of it not yet touch us, they don't yet touch us, but, the, but, but we can experience some noise from the, from the actual daytime. So let's say that the daytime. I'm sorry for my handwriting, I um, don't have enough time so that's all the daytime and we're standing here on the surface of the earth we don't experience the direct sun rays on us but the uh, the down already started and we see some some noise I, I don't know how it's called here maybe some type of light astronomical twi twilight is uh, not seen in any ways we see it just as night but uh, the astronomers see some noise Nautical twilight is designed especially for like um, uh, for military purposes. So uh, it it is the point at which the geometric center of the sun is at 12 degrees below the horizon, and it ends it ends when it is at six degrees below the horizon. So uh, we can see some sort of uh, uh, well. Uh, we can notice that the sky became uh, a little bit brighter at nautical twilight, but we cannot yet uh, feel actually the uh, 
the morning. So on the surface of the earth, and especially in the city barren at the countryside itself, at nautical twilight we can only see that the sky became a little bit brighter. But here on earth it's still like nighttime and we can actually perform any activities. We can't read the book or we can't see the like the the really small objects, for example, what is written on the pen. I can see it now because it's bright here, but during the nautical twilight, I, I would not. Civil twilight is designed for the, mostly for, well, obviously for civil purposes and criminal purposes, like for example, when you have to figure out where the burglar uh, started, so uh, the daytime and nighttime is really important in the law. And um, so during the civil twilight you see the actual uh, brightness of the sun but the sun yet not rose so it's pretty pretty close from 6 up to the actual sunrise during civil twilight the surface of the earth brightens a little bit you can see you can read which is pretty bad for eyes but you still can if you really need to um, and uh, during civil twilight, act the actual morning starts on Earth, and uh, it ends up at sunrise, which is at zero. But sunrise is uh, like uh, on the countryside where there are no tall buildings everywhere. Uh, the ac the actual civil twilight is almost morning, and you can maybe call it the beginning of the day. But in the city the point where the sun rose above the horizon probably at the start of the morning so uh, once again just for us for maybe urban or metropolitan like habitants astronomical twilight is just night we don't feel it anyways nautical twilight we can see that the sky became a little brighter but, but here on earth it's still night civil twilight is uh, somewhat start of the morning and the actual sunrise is probably the point where the uh, the morning starts. So it's when the geometrical center of the sun rose above the horizon. And we can, for example, for those who live uh, live on the sea coast, imagine that this is sea, that's that's the water, and we can only see the sun on of its half. Yeah, that's the sun. So uh, its geometrical center is over here. It's the horizon. And we can call this point uh, sunrise because the geometrical center of the sun is at zero. It's it exactly at a horizon. So, as you can see now, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate to you those uh, several types of sunrises. Uh, there, uh, there is no use in demonstrating astronomical sunrise because, well, it started it, today. It started at three thirteen, but it was still at night. Nautical sunrise at 401. The I didn't notice any difference at all what happened at 401 or when I was watching it, but the sun uh, did not become brighter until 443. So at about four uh, from 430 to 445, maybe well maybe 443 at the time, the sky really brightened. And from 4.43 to 5.16, uh, the actual morning started. So what I'm going to show you now is my uh, observations outside and my uh, observations uh, from these two moments in time from the really high point. So we, we could actually see the horizon and we could, we could see the sun rising. You can see as the surface of the earth moves from the earlier point to the later point, we approach a different uh, times of the uh, twilight. So, uh, given that the Earth moves like this, we first are we are first in the night time, so it's really really dark here, only the darkness, darkness, and then the uh, the sun, the lights of the sun, uh, start to approach the surface of the Earth more and more as the time flies. So at G, at 3.13, we start the astronomical twilight, which we don't actually see. Then at 4.01, we start the nautical twilight, which we can see on the sky. 
and at 4.43 we, we start the civil twilight, which is pretty much clearly seen. So uh, as for illustrating the twilight on the real example, I decided to start at the point where the nautical twilight turned into civil twilight at 4, well, roughly at 4.43. So at least we can see something. Today is the 22nd of May and these times are only accurate for today. So let's just go outside and see what we can see there and at the at the top point I'm guessing at 443 This is the experience of a lifetime, really guys, this is something. This is absolutely adorable, I'm telling you, it's cool. You know guys, the most challenge was to uh, exit the comfort zone, because a comfort zone is something, something terrible something really bad. It's not focusing on, there it is. And now focus on the building. Ooh. Better, better now. Focus on this thing, what is this thing? So, whatever. Showed you several times. And the twilight, of course, but it's not visible today because of the clouds. Uh -huh. Jeez. How do I actually look like this? Yeah, uh, really amazing. I mean, I am here. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Ooh, that's that's hard. Should I also stand stand here with it with this thing? I don't know. What is it? Hey. <laughs> I mean, actually, I don't know where what is this one. And my GoPro is still recording, but it's already mine. Or don't look down, I don't know. So whatever, this is Vasily again. I'm not turning my GoPro off, but I'm still recording. Look, 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 I'm here. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I did. I did. Gee, that's awesome. I'm gonna just stand here and pose for you, okay? You're not afraid? No? What's there? I'm just pretty much concerned if somebody already saw me because if somebody already saw me that's gonna be pretty bad. So that's how I've been the first visitor of, of the Fenway skyscraper or whatever it is here. I definitely didn't expect this kind of experience and I definitely didn't like regret that I climbed there although we missed all, kind of, all kinds of the twilight which I have explained but still I mean uh, we saw something which how the night changed into the day because I chose the right time so I was exiting at uh, I mean I was leaving the yeah I was entering the place at 4 for something 45 maybe and now it is now it is six like as you can see six something 635 so basically we 
pretty much learned everything with what I wanted to tell you about the, tw the Twilight and well I'm guessing hit me a like so subscribe if you want to and definitely pick me up on Instagram after what we've been through my hands are these dirty this see and also there is a good park here and pretty many trees little gate behind which I hide my board right over here just don't scratch your face Wes just don't scratch it and there it is my dear board oh looks good looks fantastic and the uh, main thing is that it's still here Still here, and I kind of showed you my secret place. You know where it is? Well, if you can, then that means I show you my secret place. If you can't tell where it is, I didn't. 